Hey, how you doing? Today I'm taking you on a journey. The journey of my one at Pixel Born Hardcore World. Things didn't start quite well. The spawn isn't bad, but as soon as I tried to punch a tree, the game crashed. Let's try again. So, while past me is getting wood, what's Iguana Twix Reborn? Iguana Twix Reborn is a set of tweaks done to survival Minecraft, made by Iguana Man back in 1.6.4, and later ported by Parker8283 in 1.7.10. Since then, the mod has been remade and rewritten by me, with tons of changes and new features. One of which you may have already seen is that blocks are harder to break. Even if wooden and stone tools durability are heavily reduced, I've still made two axes to get wood slightly faster. Had to make three pickaxes to get three stones and get a stone pick. It has really low durability, while stone axes and shovels can be used quite a few times. Also, stone swords are unusable, so I have to stick with a stone axe as a weapon for now. Not that good as it has lower attack range than other tools. Got lucky and found some coal, and after gently asking some animals and some berry bushes for food, I saw something on the other side of the hills. So, I grabbed a boat and started a new adventure. No, 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 not that early in the game. After fishing, actually not with a rod, I've decided to find a place to stay for the night. A zombie wasn't really friendly and the reduced attack range of the axe hit really hard. Like the zombie. On my first piece of iron, settled in a cave nearby, and spent the night getting more cobblestone, coal, making a furnace, and smelting that iron to get a brand new shield. Even though shields block only 5 damage, are still better than nothing. A new day was rising, picked up everything, and after a small debate with a few skeletons about their bows, which I want since I got one of theirs, the first explosion of the series, and hating Mojang for this, I gathered some wood and started exploding. Ended up finding a teeny tiny turtle and a shipwreck. The chest had some armor and organic stuff, as well as two suspicious stews. After playing the gambling game and winning blindness in that region, I was quite sure of the existence of another chest in the ship. Tried being smart, ended up drowning. Got another useful item from drowning that didn't fit in my full inventory. But the plan worked in the end. Quite some feathers and a treasure map. Buried treasure, here I come. Cooked some food and started rowing towards my destination. Got to a ruined portal with a really sad chest and no way for me to get the gold blocks since no iron pick. Got into a fight with a few drowns in one of their homes and finally arrived at my destination. Quite good, but could have been better. After struggling on what to leave in the chest, I started exploring the surroundings. Quite slow, actually, considering the sand slows you down, and the shield slows you down, and also the armor slows you down. I liked that hill and settled there. After getting a real pickaxe, I saw some iron, and while mining it out, my time came. Vanilla monsters aren't a real threat, but a zombie, a skeleton, and a creeper with almost no protection could end the armor so started building at their house. It was quite neat, with a birch door. Spent the night getting some real tools, a sword, finally, and some armor. And I thought that I could kill the monsters around the house. I actually did, and kept removing some dirt in the way of my house project, whilst finding a mod with entity culling mod. A message in the chat warned me that I was starting to feel tired. Tiredness is an Iguana Twix mechanic that doesn't let me sleep if not tired enough, and gives some debuff when too tired. I didn't care, and started descending into the huge cave beside the iron I've mined before. Got quite scared by a creeper in there, and started getting gravel, as with flint and all the feathers found in the shipwreck, I can make quite a few arrows. Ignoring all the copper, I got quite some iron and coal, and managed to find some lapis while having no torches left. 
left the cave and headed home while it was still raining outside and also realized I had now tired of effect, slowing me down and reducing my sight. I needed a bed as soon as possible, also saw a skeleton horse. That's definitely a skeleton trap. Melted some iron and... Well, the skeleton horse must have gotten near my death house. Yeah. Got some shears, and that was debating if I should have gotten into fights with the four skeleton horsemen. Started the fight. Hit the horses quite a few times by mistake. Killed three skeletons, and the tired effect just got worse, reducing my sight. Killed one of the horses, and also a creeper, but managed to overcome them. Definitely didn't need a bed. So I went to get some ships nearby, got their wool, and finally got a bed. Well, the real bed. But I managed to get some well deserved rest. And in the morning, where you get some effects after waking up as well as depleted hunger, I've started planning what to do next. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment. It helps with YouTube algorithm or something similar. And subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.